the Korean K-1 main battle tank has been a cornerstone of South Korea's armed forces, and the upgrade to the new K-1E2 standard represents a significant advancement in its capabilities. On February 25, 2024, the South Korean Ministry of National Defense unveiled the latest version of the K-1A1 main battle tank, the K-1E2. This development marks a pivotal moment in South Korea's military modernization efforts, inheriting advanced technologies from the K-2 Black Panther tank. The K-1 main battle tank developed in the early 1980s and entering service in 1987 stands as the cornerstone of South Korea's armor capabilities designed to meet the nuanced demands of modern warfare specific to Korean Peninsula. Since its inception, the K-1 has undergone a series of evolutionary upgrades aimed at enhancing its combat effectiveness survivability, and technological edge on the battlefield. Featuring a 105mm main gun, advanced fire control systems for enhanced accuracy and superior mobility to navigate diverse landscapes, the K-1 has been subject to continuous upgrades to maintain its edge on the battlefield. This upgrade includes enhanced gunner primary size, auxiliary power units, and overpressure systems for CBRN protection, incorporating technologies from the advanced K2 Black Panther to ensure the K1 remains a formidable asset in modern combat scenarios. The K1E1 tank enhancement project spending an investment of 275 billion won, equivalent to 206 million dollars, aims to modernize the existing fleet of K-1 tanks in the South Korean military's inventory. The entire upgrade program is scheduled to continue until 2038, transitioning all tanks to the K-1E2 standard. The South Korean Ministry of Defense has also outlined plans for the future evolution of its tank fleet with the K-1A3 and K-1E3 upgrades on the horizon. These future iterations are expected to feature a new Korean active protection system and a remote gun system. However, the ministry acknowledges the challenges associated with these advancements particularly the structural implications of adding extra equipment to the turret. Beyond the increased costs, there is a recognition that such modifications can potentially compromise the integrity of the turret structure. In summary, the Korean K-1 main battle tank particularly in its upgraded K-1E2 standard, remains a formidable asset in South Korea's armor arsenal. Its combination of firepower, protection, mobility, and advanced technologies ensures its relevance and effectiveness in modern warfare scenarios. <laughs>